Okay, guys. <laughs> I just got some really big news. I am adopting a bunny rabbit. I'm looking at bunny names. I'm deciding on Phoebe for a name. She's thinking, you guys. I just kept thinking about all the memories her and I are gonna have together and how much we're gonna grow together. I need her companionship just as much as she needs mine and it's really special. I'm just gonna enjoy every moment I have with her even though it's only like day four. I was doing just fine cleaning my apartment. They sent me Phoebe's like ashes. There was something in the bag I didn't see <laughs> and it was another sympathy card from the place that cremated her. And on the inside, it's just a regular card, like no one even signed it, but it's the Rainbow Bridge poem. And if you don't know, it's like the most heartwarming and heartbreaking thing. And I read this to Phoebe when I went to like see her body, the moment I found out she had passed. Um, and I read that to her to help her like get to the other side, wherever that is, whatever that means. And now I'm crying again, but I'm fine, like I'm fine. <laughs> I know this video is off to a super heavy start. I understand if this is too heavy for some folks to watch. I'll see you in one of my older videos or any of my videos to come. So this is a video of me getting my life back together while still in the middle of the roller coaster grieving process. I feel compelled to not gloss over this whole experience and just go back into fun New York City content like it never happened. No lie though, I have been dreading putting this video together, but I have willingly invested you in my life and I want to continue that transparency. Just lately it's been really down energy for me, which I kn know may not be the most motivating content for you to watch, especially with all of the tragedy going on in the world. But if I can, I want to make my experience through this grief something valuable for you, which is, you know, why I took a couple weeks off of YouTube to give my emotions some breathing room in private. For the last couple weeks, everything has been quiet and nothing feels normal not even doing things like you're seeing me do in this video like cook myself a meal or like put clothes on just doesn't feel right for some reason i feel her absence so intensely and i just can't ignore it and i try to fill up that space with mindless scrolling but it's only a temporary fix in the first couple days of losing her i called a hotline for grieving pet parents just to try and process this debilitating guilt and feeling like a total failure. Feeling things like Phoebe would have been better off if I had never come into the picture. All the counselor could say to comfort me is that all pets forgive you, no matter what. You know, they always understand. But I'm just genuinely struggling to forgive myself. Like it feels impossible. Maybe I'm just not at that point yet. It was way harder than I was thinking it would be, especially I almost went back in and grabbed the little tunnel she used to run through. I like was feeling good for a couple days and now it's just like it's all just the last steps, you know, like every day I'm just trying to do something to keep healing, you know, and that was a huge step because I do need to move forward with my life. It just would have gone in the garbage if I hadn't donated it. So um, that's what it, really what I wanted was to do something to help someone else. And if I could, you know, donating the supplies can help another rabbit thrive, then that's what I want. The tunnel would have just sat in my apartment and collected dust and now another rabbit can use it. Just the whole thing is just devastating. I'm on my way now to go get a plant 
for like some source of life in my apartment that reminds me of her, something that I can still care for. I'm gonna name the plant after her and just like set up a little memorial, really put some closure on it. But the whole thing has just been extremely traumatizing. I adopted Phoebe on January 17th and she passed away on February 1st super suddenly. Like one night she was completely fine and the next morning she just wasn't. She was not acting like herself, super lethargic, wasn't eating, you know, was barely drinking water. You could tell something was wrong and I, and I couldn't leave her. I called my bosses and they gave me the space to work remote that day, which I was so grateful for because I was genuinely panicking. It took me like 30 minutes of stressing her out, trying to get her in her carrier. And I rushed her to the emergency vet, got there as soon as I could, and they were able to see her right away. And then I handed her off, just not knowing it would be the last time I would see her. I didn't even think to say goodbye. She had a gastrointestinal obstruction, and unlike cats or dogs, you can't just surgically remove whatever it, it was they ate, because bunnies simply just don't survive the stress of that kind of surgery. So after a high-risk procedure, she ended up having a heart attack. And all of this was happening without me being able to be back there with her, which kills me to this day. My time together with Phoebe was really short, which is not what I expected at all. Like even when I was making this video, I was wondering how, how people would receive me reacting so emotionally to the death of a pet that I only had for like two weeks. I also didn't want people to think that I was making a video like this to capitalize on the passing of Phoebe in any way. Of course, that's not my intention. Everyone has big feelings like that at some point, and this is my attempt at normalizing that. I realized throughout my healing just how much it took for me to be vulnerable to love again, even if it was just with a pet. So for a while, I've, I felt like that kind of love just wasn't meant for me in this life, which I know isn't true, but it's genuinely how I felt. I just walked in the door. I can't really see my face with my hat on. And I just got two letters from the Animal Medical Center where Phoebe went for her procedure. So let's open these up. I don't know why they sent me two letters. Okay. With deepest sympathy, and that's the whole team. The whole team signed the card. That's actually really nice. It's all the people that were like working on her. That is like comforting. <laughs> I was not expecting to like still be emotional. Like I've been fine for a few days. Oh my God, and it, it's the exact same card. Signed by, wait, this is a copy. It's the same exact signatures. <laughs> it's not even like, real like they didn't sign this piece of paper that's a copy of their signatures like just don't send a card you know if it's gonna be generic especially since they mailed me two i can't deal with this right now i don't know i really felt like this plant reminded me of Phoebe. I always felt like her aura was like a pinky purple. I don't know, can't explain it, but it's called Pink Angel. It's good in low light, which is something I absolutely needed uh, because I don't get direct sunlight in my apartment. And it just says water when soil feels dry, which sounds pretty basic because the last thing I need right now is this plant to die to. I miss so much about her. She had the best personality. She's ready for a water. I used to do this with my mom growing up. Gotta massage it a little bit, break it up. She was so funny, like she knew what she wanted. She was so affectionate. Genuinely such a hilarious creature too. She was just an angel. I couldn't have asked for a better pet. And I think if I remember right, you have to leave a little at the top, like a little space at the top. She's so cute. Break the box down and find somewhere for it, you know. 
No, I think it's actually like kind of nice to be filming for some of this because then I don't feel like I'm going through it so alone. Because I was dreading doing that. Uh, but now this just means I can't rewatch any of my videos because I'm just gonna be like, ah. It's just crazy how quickly things can change. And they still have her fur. Damn. Oh my god, so much fur. <laughs> Am I gonna adopt another pet? I don't think so. And that's not to like try and isolate myself, you know, and just sit in the pain because I'm so sad. So here's like where I feel like I'm hitting a wall. While I'm living here in this building, I can't have cats or dogs. And if I did get another animal, I think it would have to be one of those two. Uh, I don't know if I could do a rabbit again. That like really f me up. So in order to have that like companionship, you know, I do have to move while Phoebe's vet bills took all my money to move and so it's just like even if i did want to break my lease which i don't really want to do i would not be able to afford to lose my deposit so it's just sort of like everything's at a standstill until my lease is up basically which is fine i have enough going on in my life at the moment where i like don't need an extra thing to stress me out by the time october comes around i'll hopefully have more money i can find ways to complain about that until like the end of time. What matters is the time that you invest with people that you love, doing things that you love, because you just never f know when the last moment with them is gonna be. I'm sure that many of my videos to come will be a bit more positive, and every day we're just doing the best that we f can. If that's all I can do, then that's all I can do. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.